Hello everybody, this is Bloody Sword here yet again. We're going to be looking at a StarCraft 2 replay. This is not one of the games that I played, it is going to be a professional game. It's going to be against TSL Pult and Cole RSVP. Now, really, all I wanted to look at was the opener for these players, and just pretty much Pult. Pult is the currently Grandmaster Korea rank 1, unless he dropped or something within the past couple days, because he's been streaming, and that's what I saw. So, right away, at 9 supply, he did send his, or set his rally worker to the bottom right here to wall off with a supply depot. So, everything is pretty standard so far. He's constantly making SCVs like any good player would. So at 12, he's going to be making his first barracks, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And again, very standard. Nothing too out of the ordinary right here. Um, one thing to note, though, is that he did not make his barracks at this uh, choke point right here. It lets him make his add-ons in his base and lets him be a uh, little easier for him to defend everything because he won't have to worry about um, his add-ons being killed so he'll be able to make all the units that he wants and if he just he's going to finish off this wall and with supply depots so he can always just raise that and let um, those add-ons be safe for a while so I'm just continuing through this he gets his um, refinery up and puts three SCVs in it as soon as possible now the probe comes in but he is not going to worry too much about that he stops production of SCVs at 15 and his barracks is just about to finish so right when that finishes he should upgrade this to an orbital command and he should start making a marine now instead of okay this is where the build starts to get a little different than um, really really normal because from most of the games that I've witnessed, they'll, instead of um, building a second barracks like he did right now, so like halfway through when the marine is um, done, he'll start his second barracks. Um, normally I would see like an extra supply depot or whatnot. And after that first barracks finished, he did send out his scouting SCV. So that's pretty interesting to note as well. Now this first marine is going to po finish popping out right here, and right after the first marine pops out, he decides to make a reactor on his first barracks. Now this is really smart because, as you can see versus Protoss players, he still doesn't have his cybernetics core up and finished with his standard opener as well. So he is going to be um, safe from any type of stalker harass while he is making this reactor. And since he is going to be walling off with supply depots, he doesn't need to worry too much about any zealot type of harassment. So, he is going to almost finish up this wall in with uh, supply depots, constantly making SCVs around here. He almost gets supply blocked here, but because this supply depot is almost going to finish, he should be fine when constantly making workers. Now, his barracks with the reactor just finished right now so he's going to be pumping out marines non-stop his second barracks finishes and as soon as that finishes he puts a tech lab on it as soon as possible finishes that wall off around the time of his second barracks putting the tech lab on it constantly making more S -er marines right here and as soon as this um, second barracks finishes he starts making a marauder and getting the concussive shells upgrade with his marauder so after this he just constantly leaves his more units right here he leaves his marauders in the back so if a stalker or anything pokes up the um, protoss player won't know exactly what's going to be coming his way but he should have a general idea since he did scout the second barracks anyway now the Marauder Concussive Shell has finished, and he ha does have a handful of Marines. It looks like this is uh, seven right here. So, a couple more to pop out, getting a couple of SCVs as well as his Marauders, and starting up his um, Stim Pack as well. So he's going to be pushing into his enemy's base, and who has expanded already. So this is pretty much the opener. As soon as his he gets his first barracks, makes one marine, gets tech lab or reactor on it, then makes a second barracks and puts a tech lab on that, gets concussive shell, two marauders, starts pushing out, and then starts the stim upgrade. 
and by the time is supposed to, or not, the Stimpak should be done, so he should be able to defend fairly easily. So, uh, he also tried to make a couple of bunkers there, but it didn't work. So this is just pretty much a standard opening. I've seen him use this many, many times. After this, he is going to be making his factory his second refinery. And he also is expanding at the same time. So this is a really heavy investment. During this time, he won't have as many units as he would uh, like, but he's still able to produce everything. Okay, now he does have a handful of marines and marauders right here, so he should be fine from this three stalker that. So, um, just to be safe, he is building a couple of bunkers up top of his ramp, but I mean, at this point, with that initial push, he already killed 10 workers. So, after that, um, the factory finished, he started making his starport and a reactor on the factory, so he could just swap that and make as many medevacs as possible. And once those medevacs are finished, he is going to the two medevacs, and that's pretty much just going to be how this strategy works. So this uh, opener has worked for him many times, and he this is pretty much his go-to strategy versus Protoss. And, um, that's pretty much it, besides using the 111 occasionally. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.